Well, hello. Alright, so... Since A Quiet Place Part 3, well... The f another Quiet Place movie is coming out. Yeah, I am planning on reviewing the first and second movie. And there's going to be a Quiet Place video game that comes out for PS5. It's coming out in 2024, so that's fun. I'm ho well, if it comes out for the PS4, I might buy it, because it does sound like a nice game. Though I probably won't buy it, because I feel like I'm going to get frustrated. Uh, so the game, I think, is going to be a lot like Soma. Um, so the enemies, I can't fight back against. I'm like Outlast, except the enemies, you make any slight sound, and they would immediately know where you are. Um, so the main character has asthma, don't know what, don't know what gender the character is, doesn't matter, the play is like a person, like during the, I want, I'm not sure when this game is taking place, maybe it takes place alongside the, um, or after the prequel movie, but before the first one. So, the characters know you gotta be quiet, otherwise that attracts them. And they actually look good in the game. Um, I'm not sure if the, cat, if the creatures can hear the flashlight popping on and off. So, running is a big no-no, that could alert them. So, the game is more like strategy and... Try, I guess, like, making noise in certain areas to alert the creatures there to sneak past them. This game is gonna get um really annoying really fast. Making sounds not here. All right. Um. So the first one, I will definitely say it's definitely a good movie. It does remind me a bit of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. As most of the characters only talk in sign language, there's barely any sound. In the movie whatsoever. Which. Yeah you get to see how the characters are by. You know seeing the way they act. Emotions. And other stuff. The main character is about to give birth. And which is kind of like a bad thing in a way. Like babies cry all the time. And this would alert. These creatures with super special hearing. To your location. No way. Kind of wish I could have seen this in theaters, but whatever. Um, the kills are good. Most of them are off screen, but still okay kills. The movie does a great job creating like a spooky, scary atmosphere throughout the entire movie, which is good. Um, let's see. So the movie is definitely a good movie. I kind of wish some of the characters got more screen time, but yeah. Um, let's see. Now the daughter is deaf, and they made her like a hearing aid that turns out about turns out to be like the special uh, way to fight them. So the sound breaks their armor plate, revealing their weak spots in the, um, weak spots in the face area, making it possible to, well, land fatal blows on them. So throughout the entire movie, they're being hunted and stalked by them. And then the ending, they turn the tables on them and fight back, which, typical horror movie, yeah. So, this franchise is still going strong. I hope I'm not the prequel will be really good. Hi, um... So, definitely check it out. Uh, I don't have much to say about this in this review. 
Again, the characters barely speak. It's mostly a silent movie with, like, what, less than five minutes of dialogue or them talking. So, it's mostly just watching in silence. That's it. Characters barely say anything. Um... Um, let's see what else happens in the movie. Um, I guess I'll talk about the creatures. Uh, they have a cool design. They look like giant daddy long legs, but with only four legs. Really long legs. They move fast. And they are smart to a degree. And then they dumb them down in the sequel. Um, and the way the movie ends, like, you, you, the movie ends in a way that you literally didn't need to make a sequel. No, they could have made a prequel after the, the first one. But this one was well done. I like the characters, I like the way they act um uh, the baby is a baby it doesn't have any character yet maybe when they get older yeah. so all in all it's a good movie um all right i hope everyone has a wonderful day